Welcome to Today in Nerd History. The Star Trek Voyager episode, 30 Days, aired December 9th, 1998. In this episode, Voyager discovers an ocean planet populated by an alien species in trouble. And also, Tom Paris is accused of breaking with protocol. Eh, not for the first time. Happy birthday, Donny Osmond, born December 9th, 1957. Donald Clark Osmond is an American singer, dancer, and actor. He first gained fame performing with four of his older brothers as the Osmonds, earning several top ten hits and gold albums. Then in the early 1970s, he began a solo career earning several additional top 10 hits, including Go Away, Little Girl, Puppy Love, and later, Soldier of Love. I love that freaking song there. He also recorded the popular song I'll Make a Man Out of You for the 1998 Disney film Mulan. For more than 40 years, he and his younger sister Marie have also gained fame as Donnie and Marie partly due to the success of their 1976 to 1979 self-titled variety series, which aired on ABC and a string of gold records. The duo also hosted a syndicated talk show. Donnie and Marie headlined an award-winning Las Vegas residency at the Flamingo Las Vegas from 2008 to 2019, during which time the showroom was renamed the Donnie and Marie Theater in their honor. He has also successfully competed on two reality shows, winning season nine of Dancing with the Stars and being named runner-up for season one of The Masked Singer. Happy birthday, Donnie. Remembering Kirk Douglas, born December 9th, 1916, and passed away February 5th, 2020. Kirk Douglas, born Isur Danielvich, was an American actor, producer, director, and author. He had his film debut in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, and during a 60-year acting career, he has appeared in over 90 movies. Douglas became an international star through positive reception in his leading role as an unscrupulous boxing hero in Champion. Other early films include Young Man with a Horn, Ace in the Hole, and Detective Story. He received Oscar nominations for his roles in The Bad and the Beautiful and for playing Vincent Van Gogh in The Lust for Life. In 1955, he established Bryna Productions, which began producing films as varied as Paths of Glory and Spartacus. He produced and starred in Lonely Are the Brave and Seven Days in May. Remembering Red Fox, born December 9th, 1922, and passed away October 11th, 1991. John Elroy Sanford, better known by his stage name as Red Fox, was an American stand-up comedian and actor. He gained success with his raunchy nightclub acts during the 1950s and 60s. Known as the king of the party records, he performed on more than 50 records in his lifetime. He also starred in the TV shows Sanford and Son, The Red Fox Show, and The Royal Family. His film projects included All the Fine Young Cannibals, Cotton Comes to Harlem, Norman, Is That You?, and Harlem Nights. Remembering Dick Van Patten, born December 9, 1928, and passed away June 23, 2015. 
Richard Vincent Van Patten was an American actor, businessman, and animal welfare advocate, best known for his role as the patriarch Tom Bradford on the ABC television comedy drama Eight is Enough. He began work as a child actor and was successful on the New York stage, appearing in more than a dozen plays as a teenager. He worked in radio on Duffy's Tavern. He later starred in numerous television roles, including the long-running CBS television series I Remember Mama and Young Dr. Malone. Later, he would co-star or star in many feature films, including Robin Hood, Men in Tights, Spaceballs, Soylent Green, and the Academy Award-winning Charlie. He was the founder of Natural Balance Pet Foods and National Guide Dog Month. Happy Birthday, Michael Dorn, born December 9th, 1952. He is an actor, director, producer, and writer best known for his portrayal of Worf on Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek D Space Nine, and in four Star Trek films. He also portrayed Worf's namesake, Colonel Worf, in Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. He first appeared in Rocky way back in 1976 as Apollo Creed's bodyguard, though he was not credited. He also appeared as a guest on a television show, W.E.B., way back in 1978. He then landed a regular role on a television series, Chips. He has appeared on screen in more Star Trek episodes and movies as the same character than anyone else. He appeared in 175 episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, missing only the episodes Code of Honor, Haven, and Shades of Grey. He was in 102 episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine and four Star Trek movies, bringing his total to 281 appearances as Worf. He directed the Star Trek Deep Space Nine episodes In the Cards, Inquisition, and When It Rains, and the Star Trek Enterprise episode Two Days and Two Nights. In 2014, he excuse me, he participated in the fan-produced Star Trek Continues episode, Fairest of Them All, giving his voice to the computer of the Mirror Universe Enterprise. He has appeared in a number of TV shows, films, and video games. He has been a spokesperson for a Neutrogena T-Gel shampoo and has appeared in a Dodge Dart car commercial. He has appeared as Worf on Webster and Family Guy. He had a reoccurring role in the television series Castle, playing the therapist of NYPD police detective Kate Beckett. And he also plays the role of General Thane in the Castlevania Hymn of Blood web series. Happy birthday, Michael. Happy birthday, Judy Dench. Born December 9th, 1934. Her film appearances include supporting roles in major films such as A Room with a View, before she rose to international fame as M in GoldenEye, a role she continued to play in James Bond films until her final appearance in Skyfall. Happy birthday, Judy. Happy birthday, Simon Helberg, born December 9, 1980. Simon Maxwell Helberg is an American actor, comedian, and musician, best known for his role as Howard Wallowitz on The Big Bang Theory. He has appeared on the sketch comedy series Mad TV and is also known for his role as Moist in Josh Whedon's web miniseries Dr. Horrible's Sing Along Blog, which is really funny. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Since the early 2000s, Helberg performed with comedian Derek Waters as the sketch comedy duo Derek and Simon. In 2007, the two starred together in Derek and Simon The Show, a web series they created. They also made two short films, 
Derek and Simon, the pity card, and Derek and Simon, a bee and a cigarette. He appeared in Van Wilder as one of the geeky students for whom Van Wilder was throwing a party and had a minor role in the movie Old School. In 2004, he was in two episodes of Reno 911 and appeared in the film A Cinderella Story. He played the minor role of Simon in Good Night and Good Luck, where he had one line. In 2005, he had a bit part on Arrested Development. In 2006, he appeared in a series of funny TV commercials for Richard Branson's UK financial services company, Virgin Money. He played a small role in Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story, and in A Serious Man. He had a minor role in the season 4 finale of The Guild as one of the Game Masters, and he co-starred in Florence Foster Jenkins. Happy birthday, Simon. Happy birthday, Joe Lando, born December 9th, 1961. He is probably best known for playing Byron Sully on the TV series Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. His first acting role was as a police patrolman in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. He received attention for his role as Jake Harrison in the soap opera One Life to Live, he also appeared in the television series Guiding Light and starred in Higher Ground, for which he also served as executive producer. He had a small part in the series Summerland and appeared in eight episodes of the TV series The Secret Circle. He has also appeared in various films such as Seeds of Doubt and No Code of Conduct. Remembering Bartlett Robinson, born December 9, 1912, and passed away March 26, 1986. Bartlett Whitney Robinson was an American actor who performed on radio, the stage, in films, and on television for five decades. In 1943, he was the first actor of several who provided the voice of the title character on a radio version of Perry Mason. He appeared in 21 films from 1956 to 1973 and in over 110 television productions between 1949 and 1982. He was also credited as Bart Robinson. He made his film debut in The Birds and the Bees. Among other television series, he played the role of Frank Caldwell in 26 episodes of Mona McCluskey, excuse me, McCluskey, and appeared in many other episodes, predominantly in supporting roles. In 1970, he played a doctor on The Men from Shiloh. His last appearance on TV was in the episode Law on Lou Grant. With regard to the big screen, his final credited role was that of Dr. Orva in Woody Allen's 1973 film Sleeper. He passed away from cancer. Remembering Margaret Hamilton Born December 9, 1902, and passed away May 16, 1985. Margaret Brainerd Hamilton was an American actress probably best known for her role as Miss Almira Gulch and the Wicked Witch of the West in the classic film The Wizard of Oz. Great film. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show... Please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.